channel so today's video is going to be a wig review on a wig that I purchased from my wigs and weaves .com. I will leave all their information down below and if you haven't seen my recent wig review on the two wigs that I got from sisterwigs.com I will leave the link down below for you to go click on it and check it out because they are two awesome awesome wigs but anyhow well, let's jump right in to this video so this wig it came in a, I have to get it over here, came in a postage cardboard envelope and it was wrapped up in this pretty pink wrapping and it has their logo on it, mywigsandweaves.com and I purchased this wig on, let's see here, the 11th, 20, 22nd, 2015. So it's been quite some time that this wig here has been waiting for me to test it out, try it on, give my 100% honest review on it. Right off the bat, I'm going to say that I do love the color of this wig. It's really pretty. The reason why I like it so much is because the dark rooting, which is a 1B, it goes right through the hair. So it gives it more of a realistic look to it. This color here is 613 I do believe. Um, that was in the information. And it's a real thick thick wig. Like for synthetic hair, just look at all the hair that you're getting. Like this is awesome. Like awesome awesome. It is a lace front wig. I'm going to flip it inside out here for you guys to show you. And it's a soft lace which is really nice. It does have five combs around the base of her. I like to call it a her. <laughs> and there's one of the combs right here. And then it has another comb. So this is comb number six, which is up on top, which I really find, like last night when I was playing with this wig, I really found it really, really hard to put it in the top of my head. So I just left it out. Why not? You got five combs going around. You really don't need to put this one in. And on the back, it does have their logo, my wigs and weaves. And it does come with adjustable straps, which is nice. And it's really, like, this is a really solid, solid wig. So I'm going to try this on for you and show you guys what it looks like. I did misplace my wig cap somewhere. So if you guys have a lot of hair, it is a good idea to use a wig cap. I don't have a whole lot of hair, so it's not really worrisome that I lost my wig cap or threw it out one or the other. <laughs> so here we go. Now this is what it looks like just right on the head with nothing done to it. Here is the parting, which it's a decent parting I must say. I did last night add some powder to it just to give it more of a realistic look to it so it's more noticeable. And yeah, I really do like it. It does fit really well on the head. The combs are in there really, really good. And it's super, super. I'm super super it's just super super pretty I think it's gonna be an awesome color for the summertime I think what I might try to do is like do a few little braids and put some flowers in something like totally peace out and funky um, yeah so last night I was playing with it and I did post a picture of them on my Instagram with me wearing it when I like a high bun but what I will do is I will show you how to make it look more realistic. Like even though it's a lace front wig, so it follows the hairline and it's, you know, it's supposed to look natural and all that. I just like to take it one step further to really, really give it that real, real look. So this is what I do. It's awesome if you guys have black hair because then it'll work really, really good. So I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to brush a good part of my own hair. 
forward. And then the rest I'm just going to take and pull back and put in a ponytail. And I'm going to go ahead and put on the wig again. Now, of course, I can't see because look at this, what's going on here. Now, once I adjust it all, Now, a good part of my front of my hair, I'm just going to show you, I know it looks kind of funny right now, but a good part of it is out here. So this is the trick of blending and making it look more realistic. Make sure those combs are in really, really good and tight. And I'm just going to take my own hair and flick it over to the side. And then, see how it's my own natural hairline and it gives the real, real awesome illusion that this is my hair and this is my color and I feel like Corella DeVille. I don't know about you guys, but I always loved villains from the movies, and that's what I feel like is Corella DeVille with this hair color. It's totally, totally awesome. And it's less damaging to my hair, so I don't really have to worry about the rest of my hair falling out because I'm not doing anything to it. So I'm going to go in on their site, and I'm going to read, um, or read and read, of course I'm going to read. I'm going to give you the information about this wig because when I purchased it I got this wig for with taxes in and shipping it was like a hundred dollars I got this for maybe it was 90 it was either 90 or 100 I really can't remember and unfortunately they don't tell me how much I paid for it in when they sent it to me so it was either 90 or 100 this is what it says here heat texture synthetic Silky hair can be curled with low heat. So just put it on your lowest setting and go with it, flow with it. <laughs> hair color roots is a 1B with hair 613. So the 1B is your black and then the 613 is this, I don't even know, like a um, whitish, blondish, platinum blonde color, let's just say. The length is 10 inches and it's a lace front and the cap is natural, which is great for women of all color. So that's what they say, that the cap is natural color, so it'll go with anybody's skin tone, which is totally awesome. Yeah, and that is, oh, wait now, and it says custom orders. Items will be custom made and will ship in four weeks. So they go ahead, they make this wig for you and then four weeks later you get it. I did notice, however, um, the blonde part and a bit of the black was a little bit shiny. So I went down, watched a few reviews on how to make your synthetic wigs look real or take the shine out of them. Um, they did say like powder, like baby powder, just put a little, little sprinkle and it takes the shininess right out of it, which it did, as you could tell, because it looks, you know, it doesn't look as shiny as what it did when I first got it. And it doesn't look fake, so yeah. So that's it. I hope you guys love this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and you know all the rest. I will leave all the information down below because now I'm rambling. Because I'm a weirdo, but that's just me being me. Until next time, my friends, much love to you all. Have a great day.